Dubai, one of the most populous emirates, is leading the way for many other countries and cities when it comes to embracing innovation and technology as well as sustainable energy methods. How is Dubai able to achieve this? Make sure that you watch this video until the end to not miss out on any information. Without further ado, let's dive into it. To begin, we need to understand what green technology is and why it's very important. Taking into mind both the immediate and long-term effects on the environment, green technology, sometimes referred to as sustainable technology, is used. Environmentally friendly products are green by definition. The development of a green product or technology involves many factors, including energy efficiency, recycling, health and safety considerations, renewable resources and more. Choose sustainability or face extinction. The Industrial Revolution was sparked by the development of steam engine and since then, our planet has experienced rapid climatic changes, including escalating droughts, dwindling groundwater supplies, seawater acidification, rising sea levels and the spread of diseases and macroparasites and the extinction of species. These modifications might become permanent if we don't act. To combat the effects of pollution and climate change, green technology is our best hope. Why? There are only so many natural resources in the world and some of them have already run out or been damaged. For instance, household electronics and batteries frequently contain hazardous chemicals that contaminate soil and groundwater and end up in food crops and livestock raised on contaminated soil. These chemicals are difficult to remove from our drinking water supply. There are astronomical health dangers alone. Fish, birds and numerous other species are being wiped off by plastic pollution, another non-sustainable resource that is ruining the habitats of sea life worldwide. While the smaller fragments of degrading plastic are making their way to the base of the food chain, larger pieces provide a choking and a strangulation risk. When larger fish feed on tainted krill, they also become tainted, and if those fish are later caught for human consumption, the toxins will end up on your plate and therefore in your stomach. I suppose that's not very tasty. Energy Sources – Renewable versus Non-Renewable Coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear power and hydrogen are examples of non-renewable energy sources. In one way or another, all of these currently fall short of the notion of sustainability, but the environment can absorb and replenish the costs associated with their extraction or production that hurts the most. One of the most well-known applications of green technology is the solar cell, which uses the photovoltaic method to directly transform energy from the ambient light into electrical energy. In addition to reducing pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, producing power from solar energy also means using fewer fossil fuels. While some critics claim that solar panels are expensive and unsightly, innovations might soon dispel these worries. Two alternatives that hold significant promise for the future of solar assets are Novel spray-on photovoltaic film employing perovskites, which has the potential to convert ordinary window glass into solar collectors and community solar clubs in which tenants will share solar panel goods. Hydro, biomass, wind and geothermal energy are additional renewable energy sources. Sadly, these resources are not being utilized sufficiently to completely replace non-renewable sources at the moment. Going green is something that some people in the energy sector vehemently oppose, while others view it as both a challenge and an opportunity. In the end, even if non-renewable energy sources presently meet 80% of the world's energy needs, this situation won't be sustainable in the long run. Emerging green energy technologies must be used with current practices to make the switch from unsustainable to a sustainable one if we are to keep life on our planet. How did Dubai achieve green technology and sustainability? Understanding the effects that going green has on the area's economy, ecology and social structure, as well as the connections between sustainable production and consumption, has become crucial. With comparisons to other large cities' policies and efforts, this chapter focuses on Dubai's green growth strategy and the method for estimating performance. Numerous facets of society are being impacted by the quick change in energy systems. Today's world is faced with the difficult task of supplying the growing energy demand as well as the responsibility of switching from traditional energy sources to low-carbon energy systems. Dubai has quickly become a global center for the development of renewable energy despite the obstacles and difficult path ahead. By 2030, Dubai wants to